Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Tuesday, February 2nd, the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord, and I'm Patty Hurley here to read to you today. Our readings today are taken from the letter of Malachi and the Gospel of Luke, and through them we are reminded that we are all responsible to share the Gospel message, and Jesus will sustain us as we bring others to him. So let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. O oh God, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up your ancient portals, that the king of glory may come in. Who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is the king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels, reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, 
the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Popularized by St. Ignatius of Loyola, gospel contemplation is a way to pray with the scriptures. To begin, one should read the passage from scripture, and in this case, Luke's presentation of the Lord, several times so that the scene becomes clearer in your mind. Then, imagine that you are there in the story. You might be a person in the crowd when Jesus' parents present him. Notice who is with you, what you do or say, and most importantly, how you interact with Jesus or how Jesus interacts with you. Contemplation is one more way to encounter Christ in our sacred text. So take some time today to try the contemplation exercise and bring you ever closer to our Lord. Let us now bring our cares and our concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God may guide and inspire all who work to end this virus and give our leaders the wisdom to make the right decisions we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are burdened during this time, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely, and the frontline workers may find peace and comfort, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God may give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your Son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us and protect us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace and have a wonderful day.